So day three embryo uh, has a uh, lower success rate for one embryo than a day five or day six blastocyst. The baby rate per blastocyst transfer is higher than per day three transfer. However, the baby rate per egg is higher with day three transfer, but it's, 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 it's small, it's statistically significant difference. Uh, this was worked out by statisticians at MIT and they found that there is statistically significant increase in baby rate per egg uh, with day three transfer. But if you go to blastocyst, it's a higher baby rate per transfer. So uh, what we do is the on day three, if it's a perfect day three embryo, we just freeze it down there. But if it isn't perfect, then we culture it for two or three more days. And if it goes to blastocyst, of course, we freeze it as a blastocyst. And um, I guess about 40% uh, of our day three embryos will go to blastocyst. But there are some day threes that are better off in the patient than in the incubator. And it's, it's a statistically significant difference, but not a gigantic difference. So one could go to all blastocyst culture, but it seems like, uh, seems like our results are pretty spectacular with our approach. And they're very spectacular, especially with older eggs. And so we freeze the perfect day three embryos. And then if it's not perfect, then we culture it onto blastocysts. So we usually have a combination. Like with Jessica and Justin, we have two gorgeous blastocysts, which will have a very high baby rate. And we have three really perfect day three embryos. So that's the difference. It's a small difference. Mm -hmm.